In this video, we're going to be looking at how to get command injection from the exec function that runs on the server side, but we're able to manipulate on our side or the client side. So if you're a bug bounty hunter, then this is going to be something you want to know. And this is something I think that actually gets overlooked a little bit is injecting into the exec command over on the server side. So in this video, I want to show you how to find this and how exactly it works. So if you're a bug bounty hunter, this is something you're going to want to know. So I have gone ahead and made a little Node.js app application. So if you're wanting to see how this works in PHP, maybe somebody who loves PHP or knows it really well, like Ipset can make a video on it. But we're going to be using Node.js because that's what I'm familiar with. So right here, we just have a simple command runner. So if we run ls, it's going to run ls on the server. So if we run who am I, you'll see that we get back Kali. Okay, so this is just a really basic web server that's just running a command through the exec function. So this is something you're really never going to see unless you're doing some kind of CTF and you need to intercept this in burp and then try to get a reverse shell. But let me show you what this looks like over here in the code. So what we do is we take a command which is going to be stored right here. This is going to be our our command so the present working directory would be our command and it gets passed over here from the front end in this variable right here as our command so then we just execute the command right here and it gives us the command back on our page over here so now how can we use this in the real world or kind of what does this look like in a real world scenario because you're probably never going to run into something that just says run a command so if we come over here and we come to our upload page, it's going to be upload an image and we can actually get code execution without like uploading some kind of payload in the file itself. So let's just look at how this works very simply. If we upload this image.php and we open this and we upload it, it's going to tell us that we're getting an image PNG because over on the server, what I am running, let's see right here, we're running a file on the type of image that is getting uploaded so we're just running file and then we are just grabbing the file type right here so that we can see that it is actually a png and the reason you would do something like this is to make sure that what was uploaded was actually a png i personally try to avoid executing anything that could possibly come over from the client side i just try to avoid these altogether but this is something that you could run into in the wild or something like this is where you're executing a file that has been uploaded but what you can do with this is actually manipulate like this file name so if we intercept this i want to show you exactly what is happening so we hit upload we send this over to repeater and now we have our file right here let me move this over if we send this we get our png back so we take this file right here this image and we are going to save the original name of the image you could actually change the original name of the image to something else but what happens is we end up running this file on this temp image path and if we console log this you'd be able to see exactly what it is down here but when you have this image right here so we're taking this file and we're actually running a file type on this specific file name and then rendering back what exact file this is so you might not see something like this where it renders back but it might run on the server side and you would just have to test this blindly because you wouldn't have access to this code so what we could do with something like this is because we're running a file type on this image right here you could very easily just add a, co a colon and just say who am i and then run this and you're going to see that we have this cali back right here so we're actually able to take the file name and because we're running a execute command on this specific file then we're able to add in a command right here so you may not run into this with a file name but there's all the time that we're going to be sending information to the server so if you think that the server might be executing something that you have access to or some kind of information that you can send over you should always be checking for some kind of command injection or see if there is something that you can actually do with this so this was just a short little video to show you how you might be able to get command injection if you think the server is executing something that you have control over on your side or the client side of the specific website or application so with that thanks for watching